Hello and welcome to Shark Bait. Just when you thought it was safe to go back in the water, here we are. My name's Harry. And I'm joining Harry remotely. My name is Gabby. First up, the Federal Coronavirus Aid, Relief, and Economic Security, or CARES Act, is giving colleges the chance to financially assist students who are met with unplanned expenses due to the pandemic. For more information about the CARES Act, including how to apply, visit the Financial Aid tab on your MySCCC homepage. For students who still meet on campus, you must now enter from only one of the entrances and complete a form at the security checkpoint. The form is to ensure that you didn't come to class with any COVID-19 related symptoms with the virus itself or have been to any restricted states or traveled internationally in the past 14 days. The form may be completed online or in person. Now let's move on to something many of you have probably been hearing about lately, voting. As the election gets closer, some of us wonder why we should vote in the first place. Here are three reasons why it's important to vote, especially as a college student. For starters, it's your right to vote as a citizen. Also, as millennials, we make up a pretty large percentage of voters, so we have the ability to swing the election. And finally, voting now will affect our future after we graduate. You might not care now, but taxes and health care are all based on who's in office in the future. To register to vote, visit the DMV website. We'll be right back to talk about Suffolk County Community College's new virtual 5K run. Attending college can be expensive. As such, you should know that financial aid is available and how to apply. Before you can request a loan or grant, you will almost always need a completed free application for federal student aid, otherwise known as FAFSA. To find out which grants or loans you qualify for, check the college website, sunysuffolk.edu, and search financial aid. This will list the grants and loans as well as the requirements. If there are concerns or eligibility, you may schedule an appointment with the financial aid office of your home campus. They will walk you through what you need to do and answer any questions you have. Just make sure you bring your photo ID as they cannot service you without it. If you have issues or changes regarding a class, you should meet with financial aid before making any changes. This can include outstanding payments, refunds, or if you are dropping or adding a class after the start of a term. In order to stay aware of any complications, be sure to check your Suffolk email on a regular basis. For additional information on the financial aid office hours, go to the college website sunysuffolk.edu and search financial aid. The office information will be on the right under your campus's name. Suffolk County Community College is doing a virtual 5K walk called the Shark Shuffle, which will benefit student scholarships at SUNY Suffolk. All you have to do is reach 5K, or just above three miles, between October 12th to the 26th. To enter, you must submit a $25 entry fee. After that, you simply go online to justgiving.com and click on the orange Start Fundraising button to name your page. The goal is to get people to sponsor you and donate, so make sure to tell your friends and families. For more information, visit justgiving.com slash campaign slash SCCC Shark Shuffle 2020. Next up, every fall, Suffolk would host their annual Dig Pink Breast Cancer Awareness Day, full of competitions, games, and prizes. Unfortunately, however, they are not able to host the event this year, but instead, they will have made the decision to sell merchandise online and will be donating all profits to the Side Out Foundation. Go to the link in our description before September 18th to order. And we'll be right back after these messages. Hey, you want to know what I'm listening to? Suffolk County Community College's internet radio. The music here is as diverse as students all across the campuses. And they play anything from Billy Joel to Ariana Grande. But the best part about it is it's available 24 hours a day, okay, seven days a week. I just go to sccir.com and click the play button. So start listening today. It's all hits all the time at <laughs> sccir.com. Welcome back. Let's move on to your daily forecast. Take it away, Gabby. Hey guys, and welcome to your daily forecast. As you can see right now, we are in the mid 70s, so expect a little humidity and a lot of frizzy hair. Later on, we're going to still be in the mid 70s, but now the sun is gonna be out and about. 
And lastly for tonight, let's keep it cool and bring it down to the low 60s. Now, I don't know about all of you, but I can't wait for fall. Crunchy leaves, cool weather, and most importantly, pumpkin spice lattes. Anyway, that's your daily forecast. Thank you for watching. I'm Gabby, and see you all tomorrow. Thank you, Gabby. Unfortunately, that's the end of our show today. Hopefully you learned a little bit more about what's happening on your college campus. We'll be back next week with some new stories. Have a good one and stay safe.